Hey guys, tonight me and Tammy are going to be trying the streaming, streaming, screaming Sicilian Stromboli. These are there are two Strombolis in this thing. Uh, we got this at Meyer for seven ninety nine, so it's not cheap. But if you if you figure a Stromboli each is four dollars a piece, that's not bad. And with the amount of calories they are, you might only need half, so you, you're only talking about two bucks for a person. That's not too bad. Um, this one's the Supremus Maximus, um, Supreme Sicilian, Supreme Sicilian Pizza Company, mind-blowing Italian sandwiches. It uh, is filled with mozzarella cheese, pepperoni, and Italian sausage, provolone cheese, and tomato sauce, onions, green bell peppers, and black olives, uh, red bell peppers, Parmesan, and Romano cheeses. So it's filled with stuff. Um, so there's three different ways you can make this. I put my glasses on because I can't see. Um, you can make it just in the oven, which you, you basically take it from frozen and bake it for on 400 degrees for 30 to 32 minutes. You can microwave it uh, directly from here. Um, and this one, the frozen, I mean the oven one, you leave it in the clear wrap. For the microwave one, you remove it from the wrap, which is weird. Um, wrap it in a paper towel and put it on a microwave safe plate, four minutes at 70% power. So you got those two options. The preferred cooking method for Christmas is what they say. You do microwave and oven. So you cook from frozen, keep the stromboli in the clear outer wrapping while cooking in the microwave and the oven. You microwave, um, you vent one end of the outer wrapping. So you just open it a little bit to, to vent it. Place it on a microwave safe plate and heat for two minutes and 30 seconds at 70% power. Then you transfer to the oven. The oven, you place it directly on the center rack in the outer wrapping, bake it in for 400 degrees for nine to 13 minutes and that's it. So, and it said be careful because it'll be screaming hot. So you got a little pull tab. Go, and we'll probably go ahead and make both of these, um, just because once we get it the oven heated up, why not? You know? Ooh, wow, those are those are good size sandwiches right there. I mean, that's a that's a big sandwich. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to vent one end. I can't believe that doesn't melt in your oven, but whatever. I'm going to vent one end, and then I'm going to do them one at a time in the microwave. I won't do them both. But once they both come out of the microwave, then I'll stick them both in the oven at the same time. So I'm going to get these in the microwave and then I'll be back when they come out of the oven. Okay, I forgot to tell you how many calories they were. Uh, they are 360 calories for half a Stromboli. Where are you at? <laughs> On your face. Um, it's uh, 360 calories for half a Stromboli and there's four servings. So you get four times 360. So uh, just know it's not low calorie. Okay, they are ready and it did leak out of the little uh, spot. It's very hot. Um, it did leak out of the end where I vented it. So just know that that will happen. Oh. Yeah, there. I'm glad we're showing this though because people would wonder how to get these out of the oven. Now just break and them And that, we bought this at Bed Bath & Beyond. It was it's like $20, but it is fabulous because when that, um, when the oven cools off, you can just scrape it off. Yeah, okay. Um, uh -huh. I'm sure it will be scalding. Oh yeah, they're good and crispy on top So we put it in the microwave for the two minutes and then we put it in two the and oven. Half, and two and a half. And then put it in the oven for... 11. 11. Yeah. And it came out pretty much perfect, it seems like. It said this was for optimum Christmas. Crispness, right? Yep. Oop, slung a little crumbs there, but... Ooh, lots of stuff. Okay, so we're gonna let this cool off. That pepper does not want to cut. I'm gonna leave the other one in the plastic for right now, but um, we'll, we'll get over there at the table and let it cool off for a minute and we'll be back. It looks good. Ooh, yeah. I love black olive and right there is a black olive. And I see, uh, I got a few other sausage. It looks like uh, you're never going to get the same bite. No, I don't think you it's will. It's not like a pizza where it's layered. Since it's in a sandwich, you just never know. Oh, it rolled up. Um, you never know what flavor you're going to get. Well, Scrimmage and Sin is like our favorite pizza. Yes. Pizza, pizza. Yes. Yes, we absolutely love it. And don't buy any other frozen pizza. Mm -mm.
You know. I know you're full. Mm-hmm. Um, to be completely and totally honest, the bite that I took was full of dough. Oh, really? Yes. I Mine need, was all pepperoni. Okay, I need to get, I'm going to get another bite. This one has sausage, red bell pepper, pepperoni, a little black olive, cheese. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, good. Onion. Mm, sorry. Mm hmm. I like it a lot. And the crust is good. It's not. I do Even the crusty, I got a, kind of a crusty piece the first time. Not too bad, but a little bit. Even the crusty pieces, the crust is pretty good. That's very good. Um, the pepperoni's got a little bit of spice to it. Not so spicy to where you can't eat it, but it does have a, you know, a good spice to it. Mm -hmm. um, like a savory spice, not a heat spice. Um, I can taste the peppers. I can taste the onions. I can get a good flavor with the cheese. Um, mm -hmm. I haven't got any sausage in any bites I've got. There's a, I see a black olive over here. So like Tammy said, it's kind of a mixed bag as far as what you get because you never know what you're going to get. If you were to eat the whole thing by yourself, you're definitely going to get a little bit of everything. Yes, um, here's sausage here if you want to Oh, I'm fine. I'm good. This is really, really good. But mm -hmm. if, if I'm at home, if it's Kevin and I on a Friday night, Honestly, I would probably just as soon uh, have the pizza. Oh, I, no. I would. But if you're taking it for lunch, mm -hmm. um, or if you're single and you don't want the whole pizza, like for example, I think a good example, was there a plain cheese one of these? Um, no. There wasn't a plain cheese? Not that I remember. A Bessie's Revenge? Uh -huh. uh, the, what I was gonna say, Ashley once loved Screaming Sicilian too. It's, it's like her favorite as well. And she wants to have a scrum and Sicilian all the time, but it's usually not at a time where we're eating. So one of these would be perfect for her to fix for herself rather than waste an entire pizza. pizza. We've told her, you can't, we don't want to spend the money and her eat half the pizza because you really can't put it in the refrigerator and it's safe. Well, it's not. I would. I would eat cold pizza. I don't care. But I don't think it would taste the same. And I know she's picky, so I don't think she would eat it later. I love cold pizza. Um, but I think one of these would be perfect for her instead mm -hmm. of eating oh, up yeah. a whole pizza, eat this. Or if you're going to work, mm -hmm. um, if it's just you, heat up a sandwich. I like it a lot. Yes, yeah, it's, it's excellent. Um, like she said, I think I would rather have the, the pizza, on a, like a pizza party Friday night. You would too. Um, I would too. However, this would be really good for, like if you weren't in the mood for pizza and I was, or um, mm -hmm. you know, something like that, this would be a perfect situation. And like you said, you don't have to heat the whole pizza up. You heat one of these sandwiches up, that's enough. Really, I'll probably go ahead and eat half of the other one because me, I'm, I'm just a pig. I like a lot of food. That will probably be enough for Tammy. It will. I will get something sweet too. And I might do that too. I might I might eat this and just say, hmm, I'll eat a couple cookies. But a couple cookies are going to be as much as the half of the sandwich would have been. So, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. I'll, I'll decide later. But I think they're definitely well worth buying if you're in, if you like Screaming Sicilian. And if you give them in your area, try it out. I think you'll really, really happy because the dough is good. Um, it's got a good crisp to it. I'd be interested to see how microwaving it only would be. Um, See, that'll be perfect for you because next time if you only make one sandwich, then you could microwave. I can microwave the other one and yeah. tell you what it's like. Yeah. Or we can even microwave one and put one in the oven and, and at same the same time, time and yeah. see what it's like because the only difference is going to be is it's not going to have the, you know, the crispiness on top. Right. But um, but I still think it would be pretty good even if you didn't have that. And they are they are high calorie, but it's it you're eating. It's pizza. A, you're eating a pizza. You're eating a rolled up pizza is what it, what it is. Just a rolled up pizza. That's all a stromboli is. So, uh, but it's delicious. Um, I think it's good. If you get them in your area, I think you should try them. They were at Meijer. Mm -hmm. um, $8 though. A little expensive, but like I said, if you split that into four pieces, that's only like two bucks a piece. Yeah, not too bad. Huh, not bad at all. So, uh, if you've tried them, let us know which is your favorite. We've bought four, so there's going to be four four different reviews of these coming right. out. If you've tried them, let us know which is your favorite. Uh, if you've seen a Bessie's Revenge, let us know. Well, maybe there is. There was the Supreme, the Italian, the Clucker, and I can't remember what the fourth one was. So, the so, fourth so one there, might have been might have cheese. been. There might have been a cheese. I just can't remember. Can't so, remember. Anyway, you'll see it in the video. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for watching.